What's the difference between refeeds and cheat days? If you haven't watched my video about refeeds, then be sure to check it out as it explains what a refeed is and how you should use them. To quickly recap, a refeed is a temporary increase in calories where your caloric and macronutrient intake is calculated and planned, with calories usually 25-50% to higher than maintenance levels. Protein is kept the same or slightly lower than usual. Fats are minimal to prevent them converting to body fat and carbohydrates are raised to make up the rest of the calories in order to give your leptin hormone a boost. So, how does a cheat day differ from a refeed? Cheat days are usually a day during the week where you allow yourself to eat anything and everything you want with no restrictions for calories or macronutrients. This can often result in a day with high amounts of both carbohydrates and fats and a hell of a lot of calories. If you remember from the refeeds video, I explained that when you raise your calories over maintenance that dietary fat becomes the easiest macronutrient to convert to body fat, which is why fats are kept as low as possible during a refeed. During a cheat day, because fats are not restricted and calories are above maintenance, your body will see an opportunity to store much more dietary fat as body fat. Cheat days still have their place though as they can be a lot more fun than refeeds as you're able to eat anything you want instead of having to stick to low fat foods as with refeeds. Pizza or burgers anyone? Here are the main similarities and differences of refeeds and cheat days. Refeeds have a restricted caloric intake. Cheat days are usually not restricted. Refeeds are high carb, low fat. Cheat days, anything goes. Refeeds raise leptin to boost metabolism and reduce hunger. Cheat days do too. Refeeds minimize body fat gain. Cheat days do not. Refeeds can be fun. Cheat days are even more fun. To put it simply, if you're casually dieting and aren't looking to compete or get as lean as physically possible, then cheat days are fine. They can be really fun and are both physically and psychologically rewarding when dieting. But if you're serious about getting as lean as possible, to compete at a show or otherwise, then refeeds are the much better choice. I hope this video made it easy to understand what the differences between refeeds and cheat days are and which one you should use depending on your goals. If you liked the video, please click like and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, later.